Concussions are very common, and doctors now know that computers, smartphones, and social media can impact recovery. Take the case of Ryan. He suffered a concussion when he was accidentally hit in the face. When I went to see him, he was lying on the ground, his nose was out of place, and uh, there was blood everywhere. Fortunately, Ryan has no memory of all that. All he remembers is... People putting ice on my face. <clears throat> yeah, then they moved me into a quiet room. The concussion and the headaches um, just left him home in a very quiet, dark area. For the first 30 to 40 days, he did no cell phone, no iPad, no video games, um, and even his TV was limited. Orion is a very athletic child, very active of all of my boys. So now uh, it's been four months later, and he has just started back in school. Managing headaches is a very significant part of post-concussion syndrome. Oftentimes, they're subtle indicators of a concussion. Headache, personality changes, memory changes, sleeping too much, poor appetite, dizziness, balance issues. I started playing video games, but I like after I think maybe 30 minutes, it started giving me a headache. The really bad one feel like, like your heart's in your head and it pounds. I felt like nauseous when my stomach started hurting. LCD screens are particularly problematic. We often recommend minimizing screen time in the acute phase after a concussion. There is the potential for our patients to have an extended recovery time by overusing electronic devices as the pixelation causes the eye tracking to be strained. The piercing sounds hurt my head just like the light and like sometimes on the computer if it's too bright it hurts so I turn brightness down. We've progressed from sunglasses to hat bills, so he can get still some light in now. The headphones help him uh, with the audiobooks. There are noise silencers as well. It's challenging for him to focus on the words and concentrate, so that's what he works on in physical therapy right now. Once a parent is suspicious that their child has had a concussion in the day or two prior to seeing a physician, it's important that they protect their child from excessive stimulation. They also should halt any physical activity which would involve potentially contact sports. I think the hardest part for Ryan was not seeing his friends and not being social or active with any of them being out of the loop of all his friends for such a long period of time and coming back will he be accepted into the group again and what's very critical emotionally is that our students after a concussion do not feel isolated social isolation in fact can further exacerbate anxiety and depression in our students and we never want to see that it takes time to heal just be patient just help your kid get through it. That's the right spirit. We hope you've learned something tonight. And if anything, just know you are not alone. I'm Diana Williams. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>